Tonight on GDS, the perfect wine for New Year's Eve and a huge surprise for a very deserving mom. Oh, it's a good day, Stateline. And welcome to Good Day, Stateline. Is anyone else having the weirdest week ever? We are all having a weird week, right? Thanks for choosing to spend part of this weird week with us. I'm sure by now you have no idea, but it is Wednesday, December 29th, and I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for tonight's show. We have a huge surprise, uh, not just for you, but for a very deserving mom coming up in just a few minutes with our friend Anita Michelle and the 815 Makeover Movement. Plus, we're getting you ready for New Year's Eve with wine expert Sarah Tracy. Before we get to all of that, it's time for Insta Chat. Every night we are breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story, kicking things off with a pair we all love to hear that they are working together. Julie Roberts and George Clooney, the two were spotted filming a rom-com called Ticket to Paradise in Australia yesterday. In the movie, they're playing a divorced couple who head to Bali to prevent their daughter from getting married. So who's playing their daughter? It looks like it's Caitlin Deaver, uh, who is taking on that huge role. You might know her as Eve from Last Man Standing. Billy Lord is also in the movie, which is set to be released next September. And Drew Barrymore in the headlines tonight. After posting a photos of a post-it note and her scale on social media, the note reads, say something kind to yourself. Her caption, a little longer than that note, uh, reading, the point of wellness to me is the mental. I'm exhausted from work. I don't care what the number says. It's a very long post that she shared, adding that she has a week off and needs a redo, reboot. I think a lot of people are feeling that same way. My advice to Drew is just ditch the scale completely. And remember that tattoo Selena Gomez recently got? Her tattoo artist posted a really, really far away shot of the ink. We couldn't quite tell what it was. Her tattoo artist, Keith Scott, Bang Bang McCurdy, heard us all. He must have heard us all from here in Rockford, wondering loud and clear, what is that tattoo of? He shared an up-close photo of the ink, and it is really beautiful. It's a pinky red watercolor rose dripping down from the back of her neck to the mid of her back. He shared it on Instagram, and you can see it now inside our Instagram story. We've always got more Insta chat for you there, including Nicole Kidman's birthday post for her daughter, Faith, who just turned 11. Just follow us at Good Day Stateline. We'll be right back with a huge surprise from Anita Michelle and the 815 Makeover Movement.